Welcome to Electron Line. Here in this video, we're going to try and figure out the total force on the dam. This is a slanted dam. The depth of the water is 8 meters. The width of the dam is 30 meters. You have a bit of a better idea when you look at this diagram right here. Maybe I should draw another line over here. You can see here's the slanted dam. It makes an angle of 60 degrees. I need to do that. 60 degrees with the horizontal or an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. So what is the total force on the slanted portion of the dam like that? Well, the method we're going to do here is simply realize that the, that the definition of the pressure is equal to the force divided by the area, and therefore the force is equal to the pressure times the area. Again, we realize that the pressure changes with depth. It's linearly proportional to the depth of the water. And so what we can say here is that the total force is equal to the average pressure times the area of the slanted dam here. Now the average pressure would be the halfway point at the depth of 4 meters. So we can say here that the force would be equal to the average pressure would be 1 half rho gh, h being 8 meters, so it gives it half of that is 4 meters, times the area. Now the area would be the width times the length, the sloped length of the dam. So the area would then be the width times the length. Now we have to find a relationship between the length and the depth of the water. Looking at this triangle right here, realizing that the hypotenuse is L, the, the side here adjacent to 30 degrees is H. We can then say that H can be defined as being the hypotenuse times a cosine of 30 degrees. So instead of writing L, we can write L is equal to H divided by the cosine of 30 degrees and substitute L for that. When we do, we get the following, F is equal to 1 half the density of the water times G times H, which is the depth, times the width of the dam, and L can be written as the depth of the water divided by the cosine of 30 degrees. Now, all we have to do here is plug in the numbers and see what the total force is. F is equal to 1 half the density, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meters, G is 9.8 meters per second square, height is 8 meters, the width is 30 meters, the height again 8 meters, and take the whole thing and divide it by the cosine of 30 degrees. See what we get when we work that out. So we get 500 times 9.8 times 8 squared, the two of them, times 30, and divide by the cosine of 30 degrees. So the total force, F total, is equal to 10.86 times 10 to the 6 newtons. Now let's see if the decimal place is in the right place. One, two, that's right. So almost 11 million newtons of total force pushing against the slanted portion of the dam. And that is our first method by which we can calculate the total force on any segment of the dam. Now, especially if it's a straight line segment like this, a slanted segment, it's fairly straightforward. Curve segments will be a little bit more difficult, but we'll get to that later. And that's how we calculate the force on the dam.